I'm Sang Kyung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to make grilled chicken salad Thai style. So I had a grilled pork salad in Phuket, Thailand. And if you watch that at Life in Thailand, the first episode, you will know how much I love that grilled pork salad and after I came back to the States last 4th of July I actually made the grilled chicken salad the Thai style of it instead of making with pork and it turned out really amazingly delicious and Jacob loved it so much I shared on Instagram you guys loved it you guys wanted a recipe so I decided to share it today so right now I just chop it up some cilantro and picking out some mint leaves I know my mint looks like super wild because uh Jennifer, my friend, she gave me this her homegrown mint and thank you so much. You can use any herbs that you like, like Thai basil and stuff, but I'm trying to mimic the flavor that I had in Thailand. So I'm gonna use just mint and cilantro. They are so good, delicious in the salad and make it so fragrant, which is I'm looking for. And I also already marinated six chicken thighs in three tablespoons of oyster sauce, six cloves garlic, that I chopped, half teaspoon of white pepper, and two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Just mix everything together and marinate the chicken at least one hour to overnight in the refrigerator. So now I'm going to slice up some shallots. If your shallot is like extra large, just use one. If your shallot is too small, then maybe use three to four of them. Or you can just use red onion too, that works. Okay, next I'm gonna cut up some green onions. You will need four green onions if they are thin and maybe two if they're like a really thick green onions. So simply chop it, but not too fine. So about quarter inch long. And let's just slice some cucumber. So the original salad doesn't have a cucumber, but I added it last time when I made it. It just added a really nice crunch texture and I love this, so I'm gonna add it on. But this is totally up to you if you don't wanna leave it out leave it out all the vegetables are ready to go my chicken is marinating so now i'm going to make the dressing so in a mixing bowl or like a you know like a measuring cup so it's easy to pour later <laughs> i'm going to add some fish sauce four tablespoons of fish sauce this salad recipe is quite large that's why we need a lot of dressing now i'm going to add three tablespoons of palm sugar if you don't have a palm sugar go ahead and use a honey or maple syrup instead all right that's three tablespoons of palm sugar and now let's add one teaspoon of tamarind paste you can buy from Amazon or online as well so I will put the link down below where you can find also the palm sugar as well tamarind will give really nice and dark color into the dressing and also super tangy like fruity tangy that really really yummy sour taste into the dressing I love using tamarind in the dressing I'm going to add some lime juice as well that's why we are using like a half tamarind and half lime juice for both the different types of sourness getting into the dressing more complex flavor putting it together two lime juice but add one first and mix it all together then taste it if it's perfect to your taste if you need more sour then go ahead and add a half lime at a time if you want to like more kick in your salad go ahead and add some fresh Thai chili right now into the dressing that's gonna be so good all right now I'm just going to stir all together only reason I made the dressing separately like this just in case if you just decide to serve or eat only half Half the salad or quarter of the salad so you can keep the dressing separately and the chicken is already marinated or already grilled in the refrigerator ready to go you just need to heat it up and all the vegetables are ready to go as well so all you have to do is just put it together I'm thinking about you <laughs> oh yeah okay this is perfect all right, now I'm going to make roasted rice powder. So I actually showed you how to make this on my previous larb recipe, but I'm just going to make it again just in case if you guys missed it. So in the dried pan, I'm going to add four tablespoon or a quarter cup of jasmine rice, raw jasmine rice, and I'm going to toast them over medium low heat until they are nice and golden brown. Actually in Thailand, they use sticky rice instead of jasmine rice. 
I think jasmine rice has a more fragrance and after they toasted it and grind it in a pestle they just have a better texture for my taste in my opinion but so it's up to you either use jasmine rice or sticky rice but I'm just letting you know the sticky rice is the traditional way so move the pan around so rice will toast it evenly and golden brown evenly meanwhile I'm making this roasted rice powder I'm going to ask my grill master Jacob to start to grill my chicken I highly recommend it to grill outside with real fire because that smoky flavor is really remarkable I'm gonna turn off the heat and pour this into my pesto. I'm going to just pound them until they are nice and fine powder but still have a little chunky texture. So how fine is totally up to you as well. Some people like super powdery, some people like more chunky. Um, me, I like kind of in between. <laughs> Oh, awesome! I was just done uh, grinding anyway. Oh my god, oh, it smells so good. Okay, I will put it together. The grilled charred flavor with this marinade is just perfection. Oh my god. Okay, now before we put it all together, let's cut up the chicken. Remember to keep this juice on the plate because we are going to add this into the salad as well, okay? I'm just going to cut them into just a large square size. Yes, yeah, so you can do this with chicken breast or beef or pork, shrimp, whatever you like to do. Even tofu for vegetarian version. Now I'm going to add all this chopped shallot and green onions and the cucumbers and all the chopped cilantro this is gonna be huge salad and some mint right there the grilled chicken all of them yes you will need like the biggest mixing bowl that you have in the house okay it's good to go now let's put one and a half tablespoon of Thai spiced chili flakes you can get this easily from online or at your local Asian grocery store it's like smoky and spicy, so good. Rice powder that we made, two tablespoons of it. It should be enough. And I always like to have a little leftover for the next round of salad, like tomorrow. <laughs> okay, this is good to go. And lastly, the dressing. Let me stir dressing one more time. Look at this. Who is not thrilling right now? If you're not, something's wrong with you. I'm serious. I love this recipe of salad. Half chicken and half vegetables and bunch of chilies. <laughs> what is better than this grilled Thai style chicken salad with some ice cold beer during the hot summer time? Don't forget this little juice from the chicken, okay? This is all flavor, guys. It's all about the flavor. Cheers! Cheers. Good job on grilling. Mm. Thank you. I'm glad it wasn't too hot today. Mm. Mm. That rice powder makes that thing. I don't know if you knew or not. The rice powder is actually one of the key ingredients for this salad. I can see why. Makes, mm, makes it very different than others. Mm. Believe it or not, it's almost like identical that I had in Thailand. Other than it's um, pork, it's not chicken. Mm. Chicken's a good option though. Mm -hmm. I can't quit eating it. No really. It's so good. Guys, if you liked my Thai grilled chicken salad, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching me today. And remember, 
You can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Song Kyung Long Guest, and this is Asian at Home. And I will see you next time. Bye. Mwah. Get my merch. Get my merch. Get my merch. <laughs> I'm like, hurry up and just finish it so I can keep eating. <laughs>